All right, what's up guys? Now in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that a lot of coaches, personal trainers, a lot of business owners have asked me. And just to give you some, some proof, right? I've created another channel that has close to 90,000 subscribers. Uh, this channel here, we have close to 3,000 subscribers. This is a very niched type of channel though. Um, and a lot of people have asked, you know, how do you establish authority online? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you six ways of doing that. And I'll tell you, these are not things that I understood at the beginning. These are things I understood as time went on. And once I understood these, like, growing online really does become seamless. But I will tell you, if you skip over one of these steps, it makes it very difficult. And I have definitely skipped over a lot of these in the past. Okay. And we're going to dig into this, but what I recommend is you have a pen and a notepad. If you've watched any of the last couple of videos I've, I've posted, they're long, right? These are really long videos. These videos I, I could be selling right now. And, uh, you know, I, I want to post them for free here because I want to, I want to give as much value as humanly possible. And I know a lot of people, especially during coronavirus, they need help. They need help with their business, but I'm here to be like the most realistic person that will, <laughs> will tell you how it's going to work because I know so many people who try to, to have authority online, they try to have authority offline. It doesn't matter. They're looking for a quick fix and they want to run Facebook ads. They want to run Instagram ads. They want to run Twitter ads. Um, people want the quick fix. I don't talk about that. I don't teach that. I've never done that. I don't do that. That's not what has led to my success. And um, so I'm going to just give you the raw insight of what you need help with, what you need to focus on. And um, I'll make this as, as really simple as possible because I'm going to get really granular here. Okay. And again, these are all in order. All right. So let's dig into this. Now, number one, it's the purple bubble at the top. It says counting views, comments does, doesn't matter. Closing clients does. So this is very key. A lot of people that go online, they are obsessed with how many people viewed my video, how many comments did it get, how many likes did it get, how many shares did it get. And it's very easy to let that manipulate how you think because most people think, well, if I get more people to watch this, then I'm going to ultimately end up making more money. That's false. That's false. I know people that have um, that are within the soccer industry, that are within the basketball industry, that are within the personal training industry, that are with any industry that you're in, that have over a hundred thousand subscribers or a hundred thousand followers. However, you want to frame subscriber follower doesn't matter to me. Um, I know people that have reached out to me that are broke and they're living off of like sponsored ads. They're not getting clients. They're not getting people to buy their products. And so you can't rely on just subscribers to make money. And th there's so many different ways on YouTube, especially like you can make money through ads. Uh, you can make money through being sponsored. You can be ma making money separately by selling product. Like I don't want to dig into that, but what I do want to tell you is from day one, you have to have a mindset of it's not going to be about the views. It's going to be about how can I solve problems and how can I uh, help clients here? How can I turn my viewers into clients? That to me is very key. Right. And to just give you some proof, 
all right, with this YouTube channel, all right, we've been able to help hundreds of coaches worldwide go through our eBooks, go through uh, our paid consulting programs, go through our paid products and services, uh, get my one-on-one -on -one help, uh, you know, come down for conferences, come down for seminars. Th those are things I've been able to do through our YouTube channel here. Um, we have a, a relatively small following, right? Three, close to 3,000 coaches, but it's very niched, right? And I put a lot of years into building that. But one thing I've done since I started this channel, I never have cared about how many views I get, how many comments I get. I care about moving the needle. I care about actually helping clients not just growing a, a social media brand, all right? And there's two ways you can go about it when you try to establish authority online. You can be popular, right? Or you can help people solve their problems. It's hard to do both. I'd rather help people solve their problems. That's why I create all this content. I don't wanna be popular. I don't care about having a million views. I'm not out to help a million coaches either. That, that's not my mission. I have a very particular mission with how many kids that I wanna help based on the amount of coaches that we help. That's my mission, right? And having a bunch of views and comments doesn't move the needle for me. And it won't move the needle for you either, all right? And the reason why I'm talking about this is because it's so easy to get caught up with that. It's addicted. It's a, it's addicting to look at Instagram every day and see, oh, how many people watch this? How many people liked it? Oh, I had 37 likes today. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, I had 38 likes tomorrow. Great, awesome. I feel better about myself. Like all that is, it's 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 a little dopamine hit that that gets you, makes you feel happy for a second, and then life goes back, uh, life goes back to normal. So we don't need to operate that way. We need to focus from day one, all right? Who do I want to help, all right? And that comes down to the second thing here, which is who needs to see your videos? Who needs to see your email marketing? Who needs to see your Instagram stories? Who needs to, to consume what you are talking about? Who is it? This is something a lot of people don't think about. They think, oh, I just want to put it out there and Whoever watches it, that's, that's who it's going to help. Well, that's not true. Who, who needs to see it? Is it kids? Is it adults? Is it adults that are between the ages of 31 to 45? Is it kids that are between the ages of 13 to 18? Who is it? Is it kids that are just girls? Is it kids that are just boys? Is it adults that are just men? Adults that are just women? Adults that are, are single, adults that are uh, uh, divorced, adults that are married, adults that have kids or don't have kids, who is it? All right? And notice there, like, I'm getting more targeted when I go down the, the rabbit hole there. You need to understand who needs to see what you're talking about. Because you can't be the, the guy who just talks about everything. When you're that, everything you do gets very watered down. So who needs to see it? And when I say who needs to see it, I'm talking about when we get in front of the camera and you, or you, you're writing an email, right? Who is the decision maker, right? Are we, are we having kids watch it and then they have to convince their parents to buy it from you? Are parents seeing it? And so if parents are seeing it, they're, they can make a decision right there that they wanna, they wanna call you. They, they want their problem solved. They want their kid, like, cause remember, like my channel here is for coaches ultimately who wanna build business, build and scale their business. We've proven results over and over and over. Uh, but kids aren't watching my channel. Coaches are, business owners are, people who want to get to the next level. That, that's, that's my avatar here, all right? 
I'm not the funny guy. I'm not the, the entertainer. I'm not sitting by a jet. That's not me. I'm the guy who, who tells it straight. But I know who I'm talking to. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I could write a book about you, the person who's watching this. I know everything about you already. I know probably what your habits are. I know what you're struggling with. I know financially where you want to be. I know financially probably where you are right now. Um, I know the biggest struggles and pains that you're dealing with within your business because I have already been through that. And my content is, is based around that. Okay. Then number three, why will they pay attention? So when you're, when you're creating content, why are they going to pay attention to you? What is, what is the thing that you're doing that's keeping their attention? Which really means, right, if, if we had to break that down, it's not why are you special. It's why, why do you deserve to have someone take two minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, three hours per week? to watch what you're talking about. What is it doing to them? Are you just talking for the sake of talking? Or are you addressing something that they need help with? Which stems into number five, right? But why are they gonna pay attention to you? And this is where a lot of people get stuck because they think they know what the, the person wants without actually digging through why like why are they going to pay attention to this okay and i can challenge you here if you're what if you're still watching this video if you hit the pause button you went to instagram and you typed in hashtag basketball training or soccer training you're going to see a million videos there right you're going to see like so many people who have so many different views or, or sorry they have Tons of views, millions of views, all right? Now, why are people paying attention to that? It's because some of those videos are cool, right? Some of those are entertaining. Uh, some of those are educational, all right? P people will find different reasons to pay attention. And to me, it doesn't really matter what the reason is, but like, as long as they're paying attention for the right reasons, then that can be someone who can lead to a potential client. But who needs to see it? If a seven-year-old boy is watching my content, can I really help him solve the problem? Odds are no, he doesn't have a credit card. Right? If he goes and tells his dad, hey, I just saw this, Hey, this guy's selling this program. It's going to give me a lot of help. If I can rely on a seven-year-old to be a, to be my salesman, great. But that it's tough to do, guys. It's tough to do. I know. I already have personal experience doing that. And we've and I've still sold digital products doing that. It's hard though. It's a really hard thing, which is why you got to reverse engineer. Who needs to see it and why are they going to pay attention? Okay, because if they're not paying attention to you, then they're going to drop off. Okay, and even just to, t to tell you while I'm doing this video, coaches who, who fall off on my videos or people who fall off on my videos, like if they watch for like a minute and they go, that is not someone I want to help. All right, let me be, like, I want to make that very clear. That is not someone who I want to help because I know their attention span is really low. That means they're not really here to learn what I'm talking about. And I know if they can't sit in front of a, uh, a video and learn for 20 to 30 minutes, like, how are they going to be when we get on a one-on-one on -one coaching call for an hour? Like, are they going to be watching ESPN in the background or are they going to be locked in and focused on what we're talking about? How am I going to help that person get results with their business? Right. So again, I, I need, to, that's where I have to do my homework. That's where you have to do your homework. Why is someone going to pay attention? Then 
Number four, which in my opinion is the most important thing about business, whether it be establishing authority online, whether it be uh, getting clients, whether it be having sales goals, uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever the goal is, right? It's how consistent are you? Okay. And I'll go on the record here. So this way there's, there's no confusion. And I know I can watch this back in 30 years from now. There's not many people who are more consistent than I am. All right, why? It's, is it because I'm a really hard worker? Yeah, I mean, you, you could say I work really hard. Uh, is it because I'm really efficient? Yeah, I, I'd say that. But it comes down to mindset. When, when you think consistency, it's I'm going to be the best at this, and um, I don't care how long it takes to get there, that, that type of thing. And the reason why I would say so, like a high percentage of people fail online, which m most people don't think that. Most people think, oh, if you start an online business, you're going to succeed. That's not true. Right? You don't understand until you talk to people who are actually doing it. Uh, you talk to someone like me who's been doing it for five, six years now. I'll tell you, most people I know that have tried starting an online thing, they're out of it within a year. And it's, it's because they don't do number four though. They, didn't do, they did not do number three. They did not do number two. And they cared too much about number one. They did not put their ego to the side. They wanted a bunch of likes. It's not gonna do it. Consistency will do it. Because you can't tell me, all right? You can't tell me that if you try to do something for a year straight, you can't say that you're not going to get progress, right? You multiply that by 10 years. You cannot tell me that in a 10 year period that you can't be the best at whatever it is that you're doing. Now, the problem with that is most people don't want to take 10 years. They want to do it in 90 days, right? They want to do it in seven days. Like, and, and I challenge you, go look on, on YouTube, go look on Facebook, go look on Instagram. The people who are at the top of the game are the most consistent. And what happens is those who are flaky, that are like here one day and then over here the other, they're not consistent. They're forced to get out of their niche to go somewhere else because there was a lack of consistency. And they realized, oh, I can't beat this other person now. So they're more consistent than I am. And then I'm going to go do this. Right. And I'll, like, and I'll tell you, this, this isn't to be arrogant. This is, this is facts. There's people that have tried copying my coaching channel here. They'll, they'll do it for a week or two weeks or maybe a couple months. And then they realize what they're up against. And they know I'm not going away. <laughs> right because I'm not okay but you have to be consistent I can't just tell you how I'm consistent that that's a mindset that you have to have and I'm, I'm very simple about it if you're not consistent you're never gonna be able to reach your goals period I don't care what it is you're doing I don't care if you're trying to be healthy I don't care if you're trying to to make more money it's all the same And that's a personal thing that you have to have. <clears throat> it's not something anyone can coach you on. You have to be consistent. You have to have a schedule. You have to, to know number three, two, and one. Right? Those have to be ingrained with you. And you have to wake up with a mindset of, I'm just going to be more consistent than everyone else. And if I do that for a long period of time, I know I will see results. If I am consistent for six months and I give up, how will I know that what I'm trying to do, like, how will I, why will I know it didn't work? Well, it's because I gave up um, and being consistent, that includes pivoting. Like, you can't just do the same thing and not get results. Like, you can do the same thing and pivot a little bit. 
if you dig deep into our channel here, I've done that. Right? I've pivoted a lot on this channel. And that's because I know what number five is. Right? So look at number five. It's what problem you're solving. And these are things that you have to understand before you start. When you understand what the what is the immediate problem you're looking to solve, then it's a lot easier to not only create content, but to create um, business opportunities, create products, create programs, create masterminds, uh, ebook, like anything. I've talked about a lot of different stuff the last couple of videos about products, uh, consulting programs, group coaching. There's a lot that we've covered, right? But when we get number five dialed in, we know really like who we're talking to and what they need help with. And we have something that can help them overcome that. Right? And I'll show you how, how personally how I've evolved that. Right? Because I think it's important. I, I don't want to talk about it. I want to give you a concrete example. When I started this channel, it was called Soccer Entrepreneur. Um, and if you don't know that, if you go back to the first couple videos that I posted, um, I talk about it. And it was for soccer trainers worldwide who wanted to learn how to start and get clients for a private training. All right? And period. That's, that's what it was, who it was for. I wasn't aiming to do anything else. And within a year or so, right, we got a lot of soccer coaches to be a part of my program. But I already had those things set up. I knew what I wanted to promote. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew the problems that I was looking to solve. I addressed those in my videos. And we had deeper one-on-one -on -one programs that we had where we, we took coaches from A to Z, from starting um, in some cases, some of those coaches got to six figures. Some of those coaches were had, already had clients. They wanted to scale. Um, and then I was like, oh, wow, like, this is working for uh, a lot of coaches. And, and then I had other people from other sports reach out to me um, about our program. And even though I didn't even have content set up about that, they were, they were joining my program too, basketball, football, baseball. Uh, cheerleading, gymnastics, squash, tennis, golf, uh, hockey. Uh, I mean, nutritionists, like all sorts of niches. Sports performance coaches, speed and agility coaches. Uh, and then I was like, wow, okay, cool. Um, and then we started creating content based around those, those types of things because I, I wanted to help more coaches and, and more sports. And then I got a bunch of personal trainers from, that work at gyms uh, that want to start their own gym to reach out. And then we've changed and we've, we've put out more content for that too. And notice though how it, was very, it starts with something very small. And it can grow from there, right? But I've understood from day one, what's the problem I'm looking to solve? And even recently, when coronavirus hit, I recognized the problem that I need to solve is coaches who want to go online right now that do not know how to do that, that, that need help with it, I can show them how to do that because I've already done it. I'm actively doing it, right? So I hope that makes sense. Like this is where you, you have to really sit back and think, which is something a lot of people don't do. They, they like to rush. They like to just go out and do it. Um, you need to think, right? You're not going to make it perfect, but you need to think and think critically about what is the problem you are solving. Because if you don't have a real problem that you are solving, you cannot sell anything. All right. And think about how many videos do you see on YouTube where, um, 
and this leads into number six. But how do you, how many videos do you see where like someone has a great piece of content, and then they're like, "All right, I'll see you guys next week," and you're like, "Okay, cool. You you just answered one a question I have. Uh, I would probably want to work with you more, but I'll just wait till I see you again on the next video." This is where a lot of people are afraid to sell on video because they, they think that that's going to rub people the wrong way. They think that that's going to lower their view count and comment and, and engagement, right? And what we need, though, is we need a straw CTA, which is call to action. And that means when you know you've already addressed the, the solution of the video or, or whatever it is that you're talking about on video or in your newsletter. Um, you give a very clear cut call to action, which is, hey, now that we've done this, go here. Go here to get more. And you're leading the viewer, you're leading the reader, you're leading the, the person who's consuming your content to take the next steps. Right? A great example of something I do on this channel, I give you my phone number. Right? And I always, I always either lead off my videos that way or I end my videos that way or in the middle of my videos I do that. Right? Why do I do that? Well, it's because I'm really confident that I can help and I want to talk to you. And I know that my mission is very clear cut. And in order for me to accomplish my mission, I need to help you. I need to have a strong call to action so I can move you from being a viewer into a client, right? How do I do that? It's because I know number five. I know number four. I know number three. I know number two. And I know number one is, is fairy tale, right? The only thing that we need to focus on with number one is that's what most people do, so don't do it. Okay, and guys, I'm giving you the, the recipe here, I'm not hiding anything. All right, but I will tell you if if you look at this here and you know who needs to see it, you know why they're going to pay attention. You know you're going to be really consistent, um, but you aren't understanding what the problem you're solving is. It's going to be years of struggle. Okay. And I'm going to end the video with, with an example here. And I know if you've made it this far in my video, that's telling me like you, you are the type of person I like to help. Right. And shoot me a text 210-960-5771. Text me, text me today. I'll get back to you. But here's the example. And I'm going to use sports as, as the example here. And then we're going to go deeper into coaches. And then we're going to go deeper into private trainers. A lot of private trainers think the problem that they're solving with like kids and clients that they work with is like skill development. So kids will come train with you. You'll put them to it through a session. Um, and I used to think this way. Right? But the reality is now kids could just go on YouTube and find the same drills. Sometimes in some cases get better coaching from someone online. It's free. They don't have to go anywhere. Um, they can get great advice. Their parents don't have to drive them. Their parents don't have to pay any money. Um, it's all at home, so it's more convenient. And so that problem right now is being addressed online for free on YouTube. But then, then we take a deeper look. Well, what, what are we actually doing? Are, are we only just doing skill development or are we the mentor to these kids? Are we teaching them about self-discipline, goal setting? Are we transforming their mindset? These are things that you can do online, you can do in person. But 
this, this is where you have to think about like how valuable is your program? What is the real problem you're solving? Are you solving skill development or are you solving their confidence obstacle that they're facing? Which one's more important? Obviously, it's the confidence. You can do all the skill development in the world. If they're not confident, they're not going to be able to do the skills in the game. Right? So notice how I'm breaking that down. This is where you have to critically think about your business. Whether it be online, whether it be offline, it doesn't matter to me. We need to understand what is the, prob the true problem that you are helping your client solve. And it's not something generic. It's not, it's not oh, we're, I'm just going to help them get better. That's not, that's not, that's not good enough. Right? We have to go deeper than that. This requires a, a lot of thought, which is why I will tell you, all of these things I have here are in order. And when you get those down and you commit and, you, and you're like, you know what? I want to be the best at fill in the blank. You could start something from scratch. And I know I could. I could start a brand new YouTube channel that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about here. That has everything to do with solving problems about something else. And if I just made that my mission for the next 10 years, like, am I going to have a million subscribers? I don't care. No, probably not. Am I going to be able to help a lot of people overcome their problems? Yes. And typically, a lot of those people are clients. So that can turn into a very successful business. So just, just see it, right? You have to be able to, to see out in 10 years from now, am I willing to be that committed? Or am I gonna get distracted? All right? Hopefully you have gained a lot of value from, from what I'm talking about here. And I know if you follow through I just saved you probably, I don't know, five years of wasted time, at least. So that should equate to a lot of money that you either would have lost or now that you would be gaining because you know exactly how to do it. So my challenge is, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? And if you're going to do it, are you going to do it today? Or are you going to wait around to make it perfect? Are you going to do it in six months from now? So that's it, guys. Very clear call to action here. If you're a coach, you want to get to the next level with your business, you want to scale online, offline, doesn't matter to me, send me a text. 210-960-5771. And I don't have my phone in front of me right now, but I'll, like, I would be able to show you how many coaches I'm talking to daily that have, are watching our content, that are reaching out to me, and I wanna help you there. I know there's like, I can help you through these videos, but I like personally helping you. And if you know you're someone who's in a position of wanting to, to get more out of your business and you want to help more clients, all right, and you need one-on-one -on -one help, reach out to me. I feel very confident I can help you. I can't help everyone, All right, but I feel very confident. I know if you've watched this whole video, All right, if you, if you weren't getting distracted and watching other stuff, if you sat down from A to Z on this video, you're the type of person I can help. People who get distracted are not my they're not my number two. <laughs> hey, I, I'm not seeking to help anybody who has short-term mindset. All right. So that's it, guys. I'll holler at you on the next video. It'll probably be coming out next week. And um, send me a text if you want to get to the next level. That's it. See you later.